What's up guys, Lord Hazen here, back again with another video and today we are unboxing and reviewing the new sound system from Vision Plus, the Vision Plus Sound Pro and I'm approaching this from a perspective with sort of high hopes, high expectations which are in check I should say because I've experienced, used the previous generation um, sound system. Okay. That's what I reviewed last year. It was the last year model and uh, that said the best part to start this video from is going to be the unboxing experience Let's go. So here's the box that the Vision Plus Sound Pro comes in It's a big tall box and that's because in it is the subwoofer and soundbar which we'll get to in a bit Cut the box open and both units can slide out of the package in the respective foam packaging First thing you notice is that both the subwoofer and the soundbar are separate individual units. Yes, that's obvious, but they can also function separately minus the other, which in my book is a nice execution of modularity. In the sense that, in the event either piece got spoiled, you could just send back that specific unit for repairs or buy that one piece alone separately and not have to buy the whole setup. That's great. In the box, we also get a Ziploc bag with the extras that come with the whole setup. In it, we get four mountings to cushion the soundbar when mounted on a wall, an auxin cable, a remote, batteries to go with the remote, wall mounts, and paperwork, the usual manual and warranty card. Speaking of which, Vision Plus will gladly sell you a sound pro unit with one year warranty. Next, let's talk about the Vision Plus Sound Pro's design. Now, I'm approaching this again from a perspective of last year's um, sound system design. It was minimal, yes, functional, yes, but looking at the new design that the sound pro is bringing, it's a whole lot different. The subwoofer is a sizable monolith cubic shape really clean on the front, nothing much going on except the Vision Plus logo. The side profiles are clean too, save for the subwoofers diaphragm. And turning to the rear, we've got a USB port for updates only, a WPS button, and a power inlet. The soundbar follows the same design cues, save for it being this long, black, shiny, minimal, pleasing figure. It's got some specs listed on it, which we'll get to in a sec, a metal mesh up front, the display built in behind the mesh, HDMI, AUGs, optical in, input ports, the power input and mounting points at the rear of the soundbar. And that's it. Pretty clean, pretty minimal, pretty straightforward. Another design cue that I noticed that's different this year from last year is last year's soundbar had more input ports and they were sort of laid on top of the soundbar, which by then, at those standards, I didn't mind. But looking at how they've implemented the same ports, the same inputs, to this year's inputs, I kind of feel like that's how it should have been done in the first place. It just adds to the minimalism of the soundbar. Pretty nice, pretty clean, nothing too obtrusive, nothing sticking out the top of the soundbar, and I'm a pretty big fan of that. In the same light, they have taken away uh, some bits and bobs that were on last year's soundbar. For example, the RCA input that connected the soundbar to the subwoofer, it's gone since these two here connect wirelessly. I don't mind, I don't blame them. And if anything, it's better. They've added a full HDMI arc input port to the soundbar. That's, in my book, that's future-proofing this soundbar, this whole sound system. It's gonna be able to take full advantage of any tech that comes in, which can take full advantage of that HDMI arc feature. Up next, let's talk about the features of the Vision Plus Sound Pro. And boy, oh girl, does it pack a ton of features. First, you get the DSP chip, which is the digital signal processing chip. You get Oxen, wireless subwoofer, Bluetooth version 5.0, USB drive support, Dolby Digital Plus, optical in, HDMI arc, the subwoofer is rated at 160 watts RMS, and as you'll see later on, it's not shy at all when it comes to buzz. You can really feel the buzz and power as it balances the sound so well, minus any screeching or sounding like it's going to fall apart the next minute. To top it off, Vision Plus gives you the buzz and trouble controls to fine tune your music just how you like it. 
add more bars or take the higher frequencies even higher. Also, the sound setup has front surround sound, so although it's one soundbar, it still gives you a cinematic surround sound experience thanks to the individual front firing speaker units built into the soundbar. While at it, let's talk more about Dolby Digital Plus. This feature really boosts up, really optimizes your experience when watching movies, as you're gonna see in a short while. That just makes watching shows, example on Netflix, that do support Dolby Digital Plus to sound surreal, more depth. It really changes the experience of movies, okay? And that's a feature that was not in last year's uh, VP2110SV. I still have the name in my mind, cool. So you've unboxed your new Vision Plus Sound Pro sound system, okay? You found a desk to put it on. The next part, the next bit is going to be setting the whole uh, sound system up. Number one, you're gonna need two power outlets, okay? That's because the sound bar and the subwoofer each have their own power input sources. They don't share power input. Once you've powered both units on, give the sound bar a bit of time since that's where all the processing power is housed. Give it a bit of time to pair to the subwoofer. They pair wirelessly and that's it. While talking about the setup process, let's talk about the remote. So it's a pretty straightforward remote control with buttons clearly laid out. What I specifically want to bring to your attention is the music, news, movie, and 3D buttons. These are preset buttons to fit every listening style or experience you might want. If you're listening to music, hit the music button, and the Sound Pro optimizes the sound to fit your music. Same to movie, same to news. To show you each individual experience, here are some samples. <laughs> Like a, a newsroom, <laughs> we are your anchors of craziness in the 254. Man, the max are open episode 103, bro. Yeah, yeah man, two years one more episode Anchorman. for two years. Anchorman. Yeah, there's a show called Anchorman. Yeah, he's a superhero. No, he was actually, it's it's one of those comedies where this guy. So, who would like to start, Mr. Barnes? Why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to draw. What's our plan? Great. Right. After that um, listening experience, let's talk price. Okay. So the Vision Plus Sound Pro is going to set you back twenty-one thousand Kenya shillings. I've been privileged enough to have access to different audio equipment from different uh, audio manufacturers out there. Now, putting the Sound Pro against those audio products from those different uh, audio manufacturers and putting the price in the mix, this is looking like quite the bargain. I've experienced audio products, okay, going for 30,000, 40,000, maybe even 50K, calling themselves Pro with Bluetooth version 4.2 in there. I've experienced audio equipment much more expensive than this without HDMI arc, without Dolby uh, features in there, without an optical in port. Some even lacked an AUX cable and they needed you to buy a separate adapter for AUX, um, AUX input. This here does have that and they give you an AUX cable in the box. That said, nothing is 100% perfect, okay? And there are some things I wish the Vision Plus did with the Sound Pro. Might sound a bit, you know, like a small issue, but I kinda wish or hoped that they'd provide their next unit, the Vision Plus Sound Pro, in different colors. But you can only find it in black. In that same light, I kinda wish they did equip the soundbar and the subwoofer with detachable uh, power inputs. They can't be detached, and that sort of really ties you up in how you're supposed to, you know, 
wire the power to get to the sound system because number one they are really short cables so getting to a power input a power inlet that's a bit far is gonna be a pain this might sound like i'm reaching here but i kind of wish the packaging was a bit environmental friendly okay i mentioned this in the other review there's so much plastic wrapping with the sound systems and i feel like they could have minimized all that plastic wrapping that said this is a sound system that's tailored to take full advantage of anything you're listening to your audio uh, needs what do you think about the new vision plus sound pro leave a comment down below that's been it lord has in here like and share this video with your friends catch you in the next one peace